This is Amazing Grace, a 2001 Aquastar Ocean Star 45. Blue hull with a white superstructure and blue detailing. She has windscreen covers, a full flybridge cover and bimini top, and a full aft cockpit enclosure. Moving to the back of the boat, bathing platform is finished with a teak top, large davits for the dinghy, and there is step access either side into the aft cockpit area, fender storage as well. She's a beautifully finished boat, built in Guernsey, Guernsey Black Star, designed by Jeff Wilson. Side gate access, the teak decks were actually relayed by Aquastar in 2015. Four deck has a large open space, three hatches all with covers and teak finish. Nice open bow area, well protected by the railings. Large anchor and windlass system and both side decks have plenty of space to get fore and aft. And back down the port side. The flybridge covers and aft cockpit were fitted in 2017 by the current owner with a complete steel framework for the aft cockpit. As you enter the aft cockpit you've got a large bench sheet across the transom section with a teak table with a life raft stow point. Then you have large double doors giving you access into the boat, into the saloon, steps down. You have a nice bench seat to starboard for two and then a port side U-shaped seating area, both finished in cream leather and extra stalls with them. The internal helm, beautifully finished wood steering wheel, Raymarine electronics, a Raymarine chart plotter and all the instrumentation is well laid out in front of you. A bow thruster was fitted in 2018 and the current ownership. We also have the electrical panel, which is fitted with a Gemini 6 kilowatt generator and the throttle controls for the twin inboard diesel Caterpillar engines. Further steps down take you into the galley, U-shaped galley, a one and a half sink arrangement with a mixer tap, whirlpool oven and grill, four burner gas hob, a Panasonic microwave and a large fridge with freezer compartment. Opposite the galley, dining area, square table, U-shaped seating around it, plenty of space for four, beautifully finished, plenty of storage space shelving behind it. Forwards into the guest cabin, set up in a split V-berth, allowing you full length either side with different levelled bunks. Side hull cupboard storage down each side, as well as plenty of cupboard storage underneath the bunks themselves. A really well thought out forward cabin for two. Direct access to the forward heads. Single basin with mixer tap, an electric flush toilet, and a shower fitted. Secondary door takes you back out into the galley and dining area. And then moving back through the boat, through the saloon, and you head towards the beautifully finished aft master cabin. First thing you see when you come in, a very large double island central bed. It's got plenty of wood panelling, lots of storage around the aft cabin, covered storage, both above and below the worktops. Large hanging locker a dressing table currently used as a TV stand. There is also underneath access to the engine room and the owner's en suite, another electric flush toilet, single basin with mixer tap and then a separate shower enclosure with a full screen and also a bath style arrangement should you wish to sit down, deep enough to fill slowly. 
a very nicely finished boat. We'll just head back up. The covers are on, but we'll be able to just have a look at the flybridge, which has its own custom seating. So a couple of steps up to the flybridge area. You've got L-shaped seating to port with its own small teak table. And then the helm position, full set of covers for that. Uh, this is also another Raymarine chart plotter, Raymarine instruments, and a beautifully finished boat. Ideal for a couple or a young family looking to explore further afield. So amazing grace for sale with the Dartmouth office.